Hello friends, Ko here, and I am excited to open some Stellar Crown with y'all today. I've actually opened quite a bit of this set already. It happened to come out around the time of my partner and I's anniversary, uh, but there are so many great cards in this set that uh, I decided to get another booster box and that's what we're gonna open today. Now I did already pull my chase card, which I am so happy about. It is this gorgeous special illustration rare for Hydrapple and I love this art so much. Super excited to have pulled it, but like I said, there are lots of other great cards in this set and we've got, uh, I think it's 36 packs in a booster box. So let's get to cracking some packs. All right, we've got our booster box here. We've got 36 packs to open this time from Stellar Crown. So uh, that's a lot of packs. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with Terrapagos for pack number one. I am not gonna be counting packs because I'll lose track very quickly. <laughs> All right, starting off with a Lightning Energy. Then we've got Salandit, which this is like smoke coming off of them. Also, there's seems to be... I don't know if you can see it at all on there, but there's like a, a crease or some kind of line. It doesn't, it looks, doesn't look straight enough to be a print line, but um, I don't see it on the, the lightning energy. Interesting start already. We've got, I, can, I don't, I really don't think you can see it at all on camera, but hopefully it's not on every card. So we'll find out. Okay, good. It's not good. Good. I don't know what was wrong with Salandit, but we've got our first ghost Pokemon, Yamask, which I really like this art. It's just hanging out in some ruins, always looking so sad, but we love Yamask here. A Panseer. I really like this art style. I'm not a big fan of the three monkeys, but they are cute at least, especially in this style. We've got the Creeper Carnivine. He really do be creeping in this art. Like, I would be scared if I was taking a walk and I saw that. No, no thanks. Especially when he's got Loom Over and Nosh as his attacks. Next, <laughs> we've got Driftblim flying over a city with the Everyone Explode Now <laughs> attack. A Rapidash. Ooh, I didn't know this was in this set. This is really pretty. Makes me think of Pokemon Snap. <laughs> a Rev of Room. Going Vroom, I guess. Not not a lot happening other than some zoomies in this art. Ooh, our first Ace Spec with a Grand Tree. Ace Specs are so pretty. Also, that's just a really grand tree. I gotta say, aptly named. A reverse hollow palmy. Going on a little run through a field. Cute. And a Zara Aura. And some like lightning attacks. Alrighty, pack number two. All right, I just need to show y'all. It's peeled away, the, the packaging. Okay, we don't have time for this. We got a lot of packs to get through. <laughs> All right, starting with a fighting energy. We got a cute little Joltik. Looks like he's ready for oh, a munch on some electricity there. A Toad's cool, ugh, running at full speed to terrify me personally. I hate it. <laughs> a Chin Chow. Oh, he's in um, 
Blueberry Academy is in the background. That's pretty cool. I always love when there's like locations you can recognize in the art. Another Yamask. Aluminion. Very uh, like serene, but also majestic with the light coming in and all the colorful coral. Uh, Marowak with a very different vibe from the last card. <laughs> Looking like it's ready to take some revenge. Oh, a toad's cruel as well. Oh, I'm... Let's just move on. Y'all have heard me talk about toad's cruel enough. <laughs> a reverse hollow Mianfu. A reverse hollow Meryl. This is very cute. Oh, little Meryl. Just just sitting in the rain. And another <laughs> Zara Aura. Alright, next pack. Alright, we've got a Grass Energy. A Riolu. Looking like it's ready to take on the world. Very good. I'm gonna say cute, but... I mean, Riolo is cute. <laughs> Even if it's a very epic card. A Lechonk with its ears up. He found some mushrooms. <laughs> That's very cute. A Varoom. Not quite ready to get into the zoomies yet. A Little Leap. Ooh, I really like this artist. I've just, I think I have a couple of their other cards. I think they're fairly more like recent artist for the TCG. I love their style. Um, so I think I'm gonna set this aside and maybe start collecting more of their cards. Because I don't know, there's something about it. I think it kind of reminds me of a lot of the paper art that I do. Um, it's very colorful and still like very playful. And I don't know, I like it a lot. So but yeah, I think I'm gonna start collecting um, this illustrator's cards. This is by, let's see, Aonishi. Hopefully I said that right. I'll have to look that up later to double check. But yeah, I really like their art style. I'm excited to start collecting more of theirs as they continue uh, doing art for TCG. Uh, we got a Reshi Ram, which is weird that it's an uncommon. It just throws me off seeing legendaries as uncommons. A Luminion again. And another Marowak. Then we go into the Reverse Hollow Celebi. The Reverse Hollow Grimmsnarl. This art is pretty cool. I love the colors. Grimmsnarl is a bit of a weird Pokemon because it's like using its hair, if I remember right, from the Pokedex entry. Um, but yeah, this is a very, like, really sick art. Just the colors, the dynamic pose, very cool. <laughs> and our first full art, we've got an Orthworm EX, which is really funny. I do like the background on this, the like green, I don't know how well, there we go, <laughs> with the like, um, what would you call that? Like, I guess diamond pattern, triangle pattern. It's so hard to get just the right angle. There it is. <laughs> but we got our Orthworm next pack. All right, a Fighting Energy. A Bombardier. Um, is it gonna throw a rock at us? Also, oh, I don't know. Maybe you could see it a little easier on the... No, maybe not. This also has a line, but yeah, it's just, maybe it was a crimping issue? Hmm, I don't know, but that's kind of annoying. <laughs> At least it's on Bombardier, who I don't like, and they look like they're going to attack me. So, I mean, Reckless Charge, it's definitely going to throw that rock at me. Electabuzz. Another Lechonk. Oh, this Rabu is very cute. Getting some training in on a berry. A Crispin. I really liked Crispin. The, like, chef vibes were really fun. <laughs> Another Drift Blim. 
and another Rapidash. We've got the Reverse Hollow Cradley. A Reverse Hollow Salazzle. Really digging the pinks and the purples as part of the fire in this art. Very nice. And an Iron Boulder, our first future card, I think. Next pack. Alright, our first Psychic Energy. Another Bombardier that has the same line. I'll have to try to take a picture of it because I really don't think you can see it on the, the video camera here. Another Creeper Carnivine. A Rhyhorn. Oh, this is fr in front of like the entrance to the Blueberry Academy as well. That's really cool. I don't remember if one of the fights over there took or used a Rhydon. It's a Rhyhorn. <laughs> it's been a little while, but that's still very cool. Love to see locations in the art. A Riolu. Speaking of chefs, we've got a Kofu. Followed by a Mian Shao on like a midnight sprint. Very cool. I don't know how well it, you can see here. Eh, try to get real close. But this art style is actually really cool. It's very jagged edges. You can really see it around the moon um, and a little on the like arm, I guess that's an arm. Yeah, <laughs> on the arm there. So. That's really cool. It's like a very subtle effect, but it gives it a lot of, like, style. We got an Aka Berry. Oh, a cute little reverse hollow Eevee. Just looking at some flowers. Looks like a dandelion there. A reverse hollow Veluza. Oh, and it has a uh, Kofu in the background too there. That's really cool. This tuna fish is so silly. I like it. <laughs> and another iron boulder. We got the Lepris. All right, fire energy. Shout out to uh, our boy Litwick over here on the play mat. <laughs> A palmy. Fan Rotom. I am a fan of Rotom, so uh, I like this card. <laughs> it's very cute. I've seen it in a few decks. Um, I'll have to check some updated lists, but um, also he could go in the Ghost Binder technically. It's kind of a... I don't think they retain Ghost, they retain Electric, I believe. But he still comes from the ghost, and he's possessing an... He can go in the ghost binder, according to me. <laughs> We've got another Lilip. And a Bombardier. A Glass Trumpet. Which is a very interesting idea. We've got Diancy. Ooh, the Area Zero Under Depths, which is just a really, like, pretty art. <laughs> the Reverse Hollow Rye Horn. Oh, a cute Reverse Hollow Finian. It almost makes me think of, like, coloring book with the, the art style on this one. It's very cute. And another Grim Snarl. Alrighty, next. Another fire energy. And a palmy. Oh, yay, Fletchling. Flying over the Blueberry Academy. I really like this evolution line for Fletchlings, so I'll add that with the other birds in my binder. A Meryl. A Gossifleur. Ugh. Pass. <laughs> a Kofu. A Mian Shao. <laughs> Followed by Mian Shao. We got a little, like... We're under attack, I guess. <laughs> a 
the reverse hollow version. No, oh, a reverse hollow score bunny. This art is really pretty. And he looks so happy. Such a happy little fella. Um, so I'm thinking about the like the sky and kind of like the colors with the water in the background and like the running and jumping. It makes me think of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> like them running on the beach. And a Rhyperior. Alrighty, next, uh, I'm gonna say next a million times. Um, sorry if that gets annoying. We've got a water energy. A Morotom. I think this is so cute. I love Morotom's face. Um, he, he just looks very menacing, but also adorable at the same time. Another Eevee. A Duraludon with some really, like, epic background going on here. Makes me think of- it's, it's like, very painterly. It makes me think of something you would almost see in a museum with that background. Not bad, Duraludon. A Riolu. A Revavroom doing the zoomies. Another Glass Trumpets. And Diancy. Oh, we've got the Reverse Hollow Alchemy, which I love baking, and this art has so many baked goods, so many. So, uh, yeah, I need to set up a f like a food binder at some point, especially with this set. I, I think there's a lot of food-related things in it. Um, so yeah, a good pull there. We've got a Reverse Hollow Lantern. And, oh, okay, we got the full art Kofu. Very cool. Pack number, we have lost count long ago and there's still so many to go. <laughs> All right, we've got a lightning energy, a Lechonk, a Varum, Lilip, Palmy, a Crydon. A Tornadus. I do not like any of the weather guys. <laughs> uh, mostly because Legends Arceus made me hate them and trying to catch them was such a pain. Um, and also, this guy's just giving bad vibes. I don't like his mustache. And um, yeah, he just he seems like a jerk. I'm just saying. <laughs> I have a lot of opinions uh, about Pokemon that are based purely on vibes, so... <laughs> We've got a Frogadier. The Reverse Hollow Glammeow, which... Its tail is wrapped around this pole so that it can lean forward safely to smell the flowers. <laughs> it's a, like a very subtle but very very clever inclusion. <laughs> like, they could have just had Glamio just smelling flowers, but I like that uh, with the, like, the curly tail. We've got a reverse holo lacy. And a bouffalant. Going in for the attack. Next one. Oh! Maybe, maybe it was something to do with the way these are sealed, because the first card is going to be right here. Uh, the first, like, non-energy card, because I moved that to the front. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there, there, you can see it. There is a line! So I think, like, any of these, I can see it on the other ones, too. Some it's more prominent than others, so, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened there. I don't think I've seen that before. Um, but yeah, a bit weird. Alright, we've got our Grass Energy, an Electabuzz, a Lechonk, the Raboot, Morotom, oh, a Jirachi. This art is very pretty. It also makes me think of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> 
a Reshiram, a Lapras, a Grubbin. I like this art as well. This is by Jerky. Um, I'm considering maybe also starting to collect Jerky's pieces because uh, they're just really fun and colorful and I don't even like Grubbin as a Pokemon, but somehow this art makes me like Grubbin. <laughs> oh, we've got the illustration rare for Joltik. This is very cute. I love the contrast of the purple with all the yellow. Very cool. And a bouffalant behind that. <laughs> Next one. All right, we got a Metal Energy, an Electabuzz, a Comfy, <laughs> very different vibes from the other Comfy cards that I have for Lost Box, <laughs> an Eevee, a Low Kicks, I like that they actually got an angle of the Low Kick, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. Not a big fan of bug Pokemon personally because I'm terrified of bugs in real life, but it's cool. Uh, Akaberry, a Coridon, a Tornadus, Reverse Hollow Ledian, which almost looks like like a very cool starry sky, or maybe it's supposed to be like pollen from the bug all around. It actually looks pretty neat though. Reverse Hollow a Raboot. And a Grim Snarl again. <laughs> Psychic Energy. A Joltik. A Turtonator. Which there's a lot of fire going on, which it makes sense for Turtonator. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool art. Oh, I mean, he's literally got Ring of Fire <laughs> as his attack, and it is indeed like a Ring of Fire. Oh, nope. <laughs> uh, Milsery in um, the uh, Blueberry Academy. I've said it already so many times and I already forgot the name. <laughs> Area Zero Under Depths. Another Jirachi. And a Reshiram. A reverse Hollow Lechonk, Reverse Hollow Varum, and a Rhyperior. All right, next we got Terrapagos here. Haven't seen any so far yet. Water Energy with a Fletchling, a Meryl, Gossiflor, Lectabuzz, Pangoro, which we, I don't think we've seen yet. The contrast with the purple, like, sky is pretty sick. Um, definitely going in for a tantrum. Pretty cool. A Celebi. Togetamaru. Such a silly little hedgehog. <laughs> a reverse hollow fletchling. Archa- Archa- Arch- Aludon? Archalodon? Archalodon? Uh, reverse hollow bridge. <laughs> I do not know how to say this one's name. Archaludon? Um, but he's literally a metal bridge, so I'm not wrong calling him that. <laughs> and, oh, we're doubling up. Double bridges. All right, we got a Dark Energy, an Eevee, Riolu, Duraludon, Joltik, a Lacey, Marowak, and Akaberry. Oh, my boy, Reverse Hollow Fido. Fido is so precious. I love him. Um, one sec. I love him so much. I designed a sticker <laughs> for this little weirdo. <laughs> this is available in my shop if you also would like to show your love 
of the weirdo that is Fido. There's a link in the description. Uh, shameless plug, but I love Fido, so excited to add this one to my binder. We got a reverse hollow glass trumpet. Ooh, and a Blastoise EX with the very sparkly hollow pattern. Next up, another darkness energy, a Char Cadet, a Cyclizer. I love this goofy little motorcycle lizard, it's so funny. A Medicham. Ooh, an antique root fossil. A frogadier. A pangoro. A celebi. Reverse hollow nimble. Which I do like this art style quite a bit as well. Very simple without any of the line art, but it like is still very effective like it feels very like natural which i don't know maybe that's a weird way of phrasing that but i like the art style uh reverse hollow reshiram and <laughs> another earthworm this is a different art this time is is he punching with the leg things I never thought about it I have a lot of questions <laughs> let's move on all right a lightning energy a Meryl a Rhyhorn Ponyta, chilling in the forest. A Grubbin. A Lapras. A Lacey. Marowak. Mo Rotom of Reverse Hollow. Oh, a little Froakie. Reverse Hollow as well. Got a big smile. That's very cute. <laughs> and an Alcremi. Grass energy, an Eevee, a Comfy, a Low Kicks, Char Cadets, a Mewtwo. I don't think we've seen Mewtwo yet. I think every art of Mewtwo is always just like sick. <laughs> like, <laughs> look how epic this is. A Crabominable Snowman. Such a goofy Pokemon, but it's really funny. <laughs> Sorry, I just read its ability is called Food Prep, which I was like, that's a little weird. Attacks used by this Pokemon cost one less for each Kofu in your discard pile. So is Kofu cooking Krabominable, or is Krabominable helping... Kofu. Let's not ask any further questions. <laughs> oh, there's a Talon Flame. Very cool. Such a good bird. We got the Reverse Hollow uh, Riolu. Almost forgot its name for a second, even though it's written right there. <laughs> Reverse Hollow Dreadnaw. And then if we're getting a lot of a lot of doubling up here. A regular rare Dreadnought. A Fighting Energy. A Turtonator. No comments. A Milsuri. Meryl. Vikavolt. I don't think we've seen this one. I don't have much to say about this Pokemon. I think the art's pretty neat, though. Charging up. Charging his lasers. Uh, we got a Zoomerol. Very colorful swim. A Dubwool. Very majestic looking, like out into the mountains. A reverse hollow fan rotom. 
a reverse hollow Morgrim. He always looks like he's up to no good, which I guess is the point. <laughs> and oh, a Cinderace EX. Oh, we haven't pulled one of these yet. It is so sick. And the rainbow border. Oh, that's so cool. The like. I don't know how well the camera is going to show it. You can see it a little bit. The sparkles um, have are like slightly raised, it looks like, just slightly. Um, but they also have extra sparkle in them. They're very extra sparkly sparkles. Okay, that's very cool. First little rainbow border. Next up, going off of the Cinderace theme from the last poll. Alright, we'll just use scissors. We'll just use scissors! It's fine! <laughs> Nothing to see here. Just make sure... We're all clear of the cards. <laughs> All right, we got there in the end. <laughs> We've got Psychic Energy and a Froki. A Meditite meditating. I love the sh very, very harsh shadow on this card. Art, it's very cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. Something about it is very simple. There's not a lot of, like, shading, but, like, that shadow really draws you in! <laughs> oh, trying to get ahead. Our, oh, yes! A Yukimori Melton for my collection. Also, this little guy, if you haven't seen the um, Sun and Moon anime, I would highly recommend it because um, he is adorable alongside Rowlet. So, a win win. <laughs> Score Bunny! To get a Maru, to get a Maru. It's hard to say fast. A <laughs> Mewtwo, a Crabominable, a Reverse Hollow Noctowl. Which this, like, it almost looks like it's in front of a stained glass window with, like, the rainbow lighting coming in. Um, but actually, his. Its move is Jewel Seeker. It makes me wonder if it's after Terrapagos. Like, <laughs> is it going in to grab the Terrapagos? Is it? Is this an evil Noctowl trying to eat the little turtle? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, we've got another Crabominable, but this is the uh, full art one. This is so hard to see, like with the lights, but it's a caught in a snowstorm, so it's very, very, like, it's supposed to be hard to see anyway, um, very, uh, like, card is mostly white from the snow. It actually, I can't see it, but very well until I looked at the camera recording, uh, the little specks of snow. There's a lot of subtle detail for such a simple art in this card. It's very cool. Just don't look into the food prep ability too much. And we've got a raging bolt behind that. Which it is indeed raging and there are several bolts. <laughs> I want to say we're halfway through. We're getting there. I hope y'all are having fun um, listening to my absurd commentary on... Uh, different card art and Pokemon and seeing some cool polls. We've got some good ones so far. Alright, we got a fire energy of the room. Yes, a Drifloon. And this art is so good. I love Drifloon. It's a very like um, simple art in the foreground and then the background has a lot of like depth between the different colors. And the gradient going down. It's so cool. I really like this art. A clink. <laughs> this Pokemon is so funny. And this art style works really well for it. 
A hoot hoot, please don't evolve into the evil Noctowl, but the gradient effect on the clouds is really pretty. Um, I really like that. And then there's a gradient in the sky as well, and on the mountains, there's a lot of gradients! Um, but what is he on his way? What is he flying to? Hopefully not to eat a turtle. <laughs> An Akaberry! A Vikavolt! A Zumaril! We've got the Reverse Hollow Gossiflor. Another Crabominable, the Reverse Hollow here. And a Dreadnought. There's a lot of turtles in this set. <laughs> Speaking of turtles. All right, we have the Fighting Energy. A Cyclizer, a Metacham, an Antique Root Fossil, a Froki, a Salazzle, a Lantern, a Slow King. Um, so if y'all haven't watched the um, Pokemon Journeys anime, there is, um, I think it might be half of an episode um, that is all about going to an island where, like, there's, like, the Slow King crown get keeps getting passed around. And I don't want to say too much because it's just absurd and you've got to watch it. But that is what this is making me think of. <laughs> like, definitely give the show a chance if you haven't. If you're a big Pokemon fan, there's a lot of, like, really good nostalgia bits and just hilariousness that ensues. So... Um, yeah, that's what this makes me think of. <laughs> and we've got the Reverse Hollow Low Kicks. A Reverse Hollow Slandit. And a Caracosta. Caracosta. I've never pronounced your name out loud, I'm sorry. Very angry, though. Um, I don't think he's very happy about being brought back from a fossil. Doesn't look very happy about it. But he does got some primal knowledge, so at least he's got that going for him. <laughs> Next one. Alright, we've got the Metal Energy. A Rhyhorn. A Ponyta. A Grubbin. Varum. Wallot. About to eat that tire, I guess? You do your own thing, Swalot. <laughs> a Mewtwo. A Pangoro. The Reverse Hollow Metatite. A Reverse Hollow Gulpin. The little face gets me every time. And a Mill Metal. A Lightning Energy, a Mianfu, a Lediba. <laughs> There's something funny about the contrast of this very, like, peaceful art with headbutt bounce. <laughs> a Flittle. Love the colors on that one. A Chinchow. Talon Flame, Salazzle, a Lantern, a Reverse Hollow Yamask for the Ghosty Binder, a Mel Metal Reverse Hollow, and a Clink Clang. <laughs> oh, what a silly Pokemon. Emergency Rotation. Interesting, interesting. Next one, we've got a Grass Energy, an Impidimp, oh, the Kamiya art is so funny. Um, he almost looks like he's trying to play some sweet air guitar. <laughs> and we got a very angry Tauros. There's a lot of angry Pokemon in this set. 
Speaking of angry, look at this guy, the crab crab brawler, crab brawler, crab brawler. There we go. We got there. He's ready to fight. We've got a comfy, a double, a swallow, a Mewtwo, the reverse Hollow Taurus. I do. I didn't comment on it when I just pulled it, but. I do like this art style. It makes me think of like the like original, a lot of the original art they did for Pokemon. Um, it's got a similar vibe with, especially with kind of the almost like watercolor. Well, like, I think it was originally watercolor, but like that kind of transition with the colors and you've got the really harsh spotlights. Um, so I actually really like this art. I think it's cool. And a briar reverse hollow. And another Caracosta. Alright, next one. Alright, we got a darkness energy, a Meditite, a Meltan, Score Bunny, a Lediba, Karachi, Electivire. Also angry. <laughs> a Valooza. A reverse hollow of the creeper himself. <laughs> a reverse hollow co collectivire. <laughs> Electivire. And an Alkermi. Alright, we got a psychic energy. A clink. Our boy Drifloon. A Hoot Hoot, an Impidimp, an Eldegoss. I don't think we've pulled this one yet. Looks very happy to be surrounded by flowers. <laughs> a Salazzle, a Frogadier, a Reverse Hollow Crab Brawler. Oh no! A Yukamori card uh, for Choodle! This guy's so funny. Uh, and it's a reverse holo. Add that to the collection. And the clink clang. Ow. I don't know. I'm running out of things to say for all of these. <laughs> uh, darkness energy. Another little choodle. Oh, a woo I love this Wulu art so much. It's adorable. I love the like way they did the wool. Oh, don't focus on that. Come on. <laughs> no, don't focus on the text. The wool, wool on the Wulu is very like, very painterly, very pretty, and it's just adorable. Gotta love when the camera wants to focus on text in the background. <laughs> We've got a Finneon. Yes, our Applin hanging upside down. I really like this because I think all the other Applin cards I have, um, he's just like sitting on the ground or sitting on a branch or something. Um, so it's cool to see the little tail wrapped around the branch hanging upside down. <laughs> A Pangoro, Eldegoss, a Salazzle, oh yeah, the Reverse Hollow Applin. We got the Reverse Hollow Antique Root Fossil. I don't think we've gotten the other fossil, just this one. And a Raging Bolt. Next one. Alright, we got a Metal energy. Oh, there is the little baby turtle. Tortuga. He's so cute. I like the way on this art, he almost like blends in, especially on the back fins here. And then you just kind of get like, your eye is really drawn to the sun and towards his face. It's very well done. <laughs> then we got Espathra. Doing some weird psychic ostrich stuff. I don't know. <laughs> the Glamio. A Pancham. This art is really cute. Look at him. He's doing some training. 
We've got Slowking, a Jirachi, Electivire, a Reverse Hollow Medicham, a Reverse Hollow Meltan for the Yukimori Collection. Oh, and the Lapras EX with the rainbow. Oh, this is so cool. I really like that they're doing these rainbow cards. Um, different than previous rainbow cards, but it works so well with the Terra type. Very cool. Larpus. Good old Larpus. We're gonna follow up that Lapras with a Lapras pack. All right. We've got a Water Energy, a Tauros, a Crab Brawler, a Comfy, Choodle, Driftblim, a Gravity Gemstone, a Coridon, an Iron Boulder Reverse Hollow, A Lapras from the Lapras pack, and a Venusaur EX. Alright, we're making some good progress. Only got a couple more packs to go. Let's see what we get. Another Water Energy. A Mianfu. A Flittle. A Chinchow. A Tortuga. Trying to skip all the way ahead. A uh, Swalot. A Papaya Berry. My brain wants to read that as papaya so badly. <laughs> hey, me and Shao. Ah, oh, a Reverse Holland Diplin. I love this line so much. They're so cute. Adorable. I will be adding to the binder. We've got a reverse hollow Caracosta and a Ledion. Which, oh, I didn't see its ability is glittering star pattern, so that makes perfect sense with the art. All right. Down to our last, I think, six packs. All right. We got a grass energy. A charge a bug. This little guy, he is just a charger. He, it's, it's so funny. <laughs> like, it seems like such a weird Pokemon to stumble across in the wild. And I like that its attack is called Parallel Placements. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, we got a Salandit, a Yamask, a Panseer. I don't think we've seen any of the other monkeys. I don't know if it's only Panseer in this one, or we just haven't seen them. A uh, Veluza, Swalot, a Piapa Berry, <gasps> oh, a Reverse Hollow Cubone, and this art is really pretty. Another very painterly one. How fun. I really like this. <laughs> A reverse hollow area zero under depth and a knockdown. Please don't eat turtles. <laughs> Next up. All right, we're starting strong with a fighting energy. We've got a phalanx, which I don't know, there's something about this card that is really like chill okay <laughs> i just noticed that they have these two back here are my favorite we've got the little like uwu looking face and then the frustrated face that's so funny <laughs> oh and this one up here too i don't know i think it's really the colors and the lack of line art really make this stand out especially for a pokemon that is typically very like literally like structured and sharp <laughs> I think that it works really well in this style. Uh, then we got a Fletchling. <laughs> a Perugly. <laughs> Perugly, what? Nyan roll! Nyan! <laughs> it's literally Nyan Cat, but it can't get up. 
Oh my gosh, this art is so funny! We've got our boy Fido looking so cute. A frogadier. A drift blim. Gravity gemstone. A reverse hollow of the little pancham cutie. Oh, we've got the illustration rare for Raboot. So pretty. Oh, he's in the snowstorm, maybe with the Kerbominable. Practicing his moves with the little snowball. That's really cool. Like, semi-connected. <laughs> and a Ledian to finish that pack. All right. Four left. Let's see what else we can get. We've gotten some pretty cool cards so far. All right, we've got a Psychic Energy, followed by uh, Aspathra, a Glamiao, Pancham, a Charge a Bug. So funny. Ah, trying to skip ahead. A uh, Gravity Gemstone, an Eldegoss. A Crispin, Reverse Hollow Lediba, Reverse Hollow Pangoro, and oh, a Hydrapple! Yay! <laughs> I love this evolution line. They're so good and so silly. Like, look at them. They're so cute. <laughs> I wonder if it could pair up with like Teal Mask Ogre Pond at all. I would love to have a Hydrapple deck. <laughs> that would be so fun. Maybe I'll try to see if there's like one just for like casual games for fun to play. Um, less competitive probably, but I would love to play Hydrapple because I love this goofy apple dragon. <laughs> Three left. All right, we got a Fire Energy. That adorable Wooloo, a Finneon, an Applin, a Fletchling, Hyapa Berry, a Tornadus, a Kofu, Reverse Hollow Mewtwo, a Reverse Hollow Joltik, and an Iron Boulder. <laughs> All right, last two packs. Um, we'll start with the Cinder Ace. All right, we've got a Darkness Energy, Creeper Carnivine, a Palmy, a Fan Rotom, a Lilip, a Mian Shao, Gravity Gemstone, an Eldegoss. Ooh, yes, a reverse hollow of that sweet, sweet Drifloon art. Love it. A reverse hollow clink. And a cradley with selective slime. Interesting. <laughs> All right, we are down to our last pack. Let's hope we can get some last pack magic going here and let's see what we get. All right, we've got a Metal Energy, a Charcadet, a Clang. It's like in a factory, perhaps. A Cyclizer, a Gulpin, a Coridon, a Piapa Berry, a Tornadus. A reverse hollow lizard motorcycle. A reverse hollow Kofu. And the, we literally got last pack magic here with some rainbow Terrapagos EX. It's not the full art one, but it is still so sick. I really just love these rainbow borders. They're so pretty. And it's so cool to pull... Terrapagos. <laughs> it feels like extra special to get the little turtle. I mean, it's not, it's not little. It's a very large turtle, but I think he could take that knocked out. <laughs> 
Thanks so much for sticking around. I know this was a long one. Let me know in the comments what polls you've gotten from Stellar Crown, and remember to like and subscribe if you like this video. Catch y'all in the next one.